Hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to today's Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now we're continuing with the idea of improvisation and today I just wanted to share with you some, some more simple ideas. Um, I don't know about you but I've got a couple of beginners who started earlier on in this term and I've got them coming this afternoon so I was thinking how I could you get them improvising in a very very simple, straightforward, uncomplicated way. And also I've got a favourite song for this time of year called Autumn Leaves that I like to do. Um, and I was trying to think of ways of, of incorporating the two. So the song goes like this. I have to excuse me um, as I sit down and play because it's not always the best place to sing from as well. But it's called Autumn Leaves. Autumn. just a little piece I made up myself and I find that uh, it has that lovely gentle quality to it that children really like. So what I'm going to do with my beginners and that song this afternoon is they're all just getting into rhythm so we've been working on um, tar and tete as we call it for the crotchets and the quavers, the, the quarter notes and the eighth notes and we're going to be working with flashcards this afternoon hopefully you can see those and I'll do some work first of all to warm them up so we'll do some copycat and I'll go, off I go, ta, 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 they will copy me. Te, te, ta, te, te, ta, then they'll do the same. And I might do some more as well, but that's just to give you a little idea. After copy me, um, I will then actually ask them to do it. So I'll say, are you ready? Off you go. Are you ready? Off you go. And we'll practice those cards and I'll make sure that they're really happy with them. Then after that, I shall sing the song, as you've just heard. And as I sing the song, I shall ask them a question. I'm, I usually ask, how many times do you hear autumn leaves? I'll sing it one more time, see if you can count. say it and clap it and they'll come out with that autumn leaves autumn leaves i wonder i might ask which of our rhythm cards had that pattern and we'll look at these again and i might show them that one first so we're looking for te te ta te te ta and we'll look at that one and hopefully they'll be able to say no it's not that one and then we'll look at that one and hopefully they'll be able to say, yes, it's that one. Te, te, ta, te, te, ta. Autumn leaves, autumn leaves. And then we'll go on to the piano and I'll probably give them a G and I'll ask them to play autumn leaves every time the word comes. So it might be something like this. I'm being the pupil here with my right hand. We go them to improvise with their left hand to make up their own rhythm with their left hand on a different note and I'm probably going to give them the C and they can either if they're not sure I might give them a rhythm flashcard I know that's not improvising but it's giving them something to work with and then they can go away from it so what we should end up with is something like a 
a bit of time to get there, but then that tells you quite a bit about the pupil. If they're independent enough to come up with a different rhythm here to the words, then their musical independence is really coming on quite well. Hopefully that's given you a few ideas and I'll see if I can find the link to Autumn Leaves and put that on here as well for you all. Um, do hope that you, you can use that this afternoon in your teaching. I shall certainly be doing that. I'll be, we'll be back next week where we're going to have, we're going to let you have a little glimpse into some of our lessons next week. So do make sure you come and like us on our Facebook page and also do keep going over to the blog where this next Friday we're looking at why some of us as teachers are scared of improvisation and giving some ideas for how not to be. Okay, bye for now.